I want to say thank you for giving me a, a few moments of your time uh, to get up here and and, and uh, say my two cents worth on this uh, on this uh, evening. If you went back in time right now and popped up right before I slid my mind probe in the ground, and, and you probably said, Matt, I have you know a few questions, and uh, you know, you know, uh, where are you going? You know, how are you going to get there? You know, do you know how to get there? And uh, you know, do you have the uh, ability to overcome all the obstacles that are in front of you, I would have been able to answer those questions at that moment. I would have been like, yes, I knew where I was going. I knew how exactly how to get there. And I had, at the time I had, I think I had the means and the ability to achieve my long-term goals, you know, which was to retire at 30 years with a whole twice as many stripes as I've got on now and uh, running, you know, running in an entire uh, um, EOD flight. That was my long-term goal. And uh, and a hundredth of, well, thousandth of a second later, if you'd asked me those questions, I would have not known. I was laying there on the ground, my face shattered, my eyes pulverized, you know, my arm blown off, and uh, bleeding to death. And uh, if you'd froze time and said, Matt, what about now? I'd have said, I have no idea. I don't know where I'm going. I do not know how to get there. And I don't know if I have... I don't even know how to be even to begin to overcome the obstacles that have been thrown on my path. So I've had to find new goals for myself. And in the process of finding new goals, I've had to take a completely new path. A path that I never even, I never even considered, I never even gave it any, a second thought, because that's not where I was going. I was going a whole different direction. And so now I'm starting to figure out can I get there? I think so. It's only been a couple days, but I'm already seeing that there's that maybe that glimmer of that maybe I'm gonna not I'm gonna have the means and the ability. This is gonna help me get that means and ability. It's gonna be one more magnificent tool in my toolbox to help me get to where I need to go. And so I just want to thank everyone here at Fidelco and everyone that's donated because I'm just one. I'm just a blip coming in and out of this door all these different dogs, all these people that you've helped and that are going to continue. I have a young airman who was just wounded this January. Everybody in his truck died and he got out with, uh, with a loss of his vision. And he hasn't even thought about a guide dog yet. He's still too new in the process. But I guarantee you though, when he's like, hey, tell me about that dog and I'm going to be like, oh, have a seat, man. Thank you for your generosity and thank you for your time.